Hello and greetings. Welcome to video number 11 in our series of customizing an ISP. On this video, what I'll teach is how you start registering a website. Um, I'm gonna use GoDaddy. And the ultimate goal of this is, um, may, hopefully we fit it on this video. If not, we'll, we'll fit it on the next one. Um, how you would set up your SSL certificates within um, ISP config. I'm not going to get into creating your own ISP because there's a lot of pieces um, that's, that are needed. Um, so th that's not what this tutorial is for. This tutorial is to actually start setting up um, off the ground uh, managing, but then from there you can start growing from there. So anyways, let's go ahead and move on. Um, so what I'm going to do is open my Firefox. Let me drag it over. Okay, so here's my Firefox. So I'm going to go to GoDaddy. The very first thing I'm going to do, and I'm going to continue with that um, that ISP config dash tutorial. The very first thing I'm going to do is obviously log in. If you don't have an account, then obviously you're going to have to set one up. So I'm going to click on sign in. Okay, so now I'm signed in. What I'm what I'm going to do first is uh, register a site. So I need to first see if it's available or not. What I'll do here is um, enter the, the, the site that I want. So that I want to see if it's available or not. So I have it on, on Notepad on the site. I'm going to put it here. I'm going to search. And it's available. You know, it tells you that it's available here. Um, it's $14.99 for one year and uh, two two ninety nine extra. So I'm gonna go ahead and select this one and select. So now that's selected, and it actually goes to my shopping cart. So I'm gonna click on shopping cart. Here's gonna tell me all the, you know, what I need is eighteen bucks, whatever. And I I always do the donate. Um, so I'm gonna click on donate, and it's gonna be nineteen bucks. Um, I actually, most of the time I actually do the um, the Boys and Girls Club. Go figure, that's my thing. So instead of 18 bucks, it's like going to be 19 bucks. I'm going to go ahead and check out. Okay, so now we register our website, uh, which is this ispconfig-tutorials.com. And, but now we need to link all this info and it actually has to go vice versa to um, our ISP config. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to minimize this and I'm going to do it through Chrome. So let me bring Chrome up here and remember this is our ISP. So I'm going to log in at my admin Okay, so now we're logged in, and the one thing I, I can see where I screwed up is, and let me zoom in and show you, is that we were working on .NET, and I registered a .com. So what I'm gonna have to do is create a new site. Okay, so you notice now it's saved. What we're gonna do now is go to our DNS. Because remember, we created a site, but there's no actual DNS uh, zones on there that yet. And when we go here, we're going to add a zone. The client is still going to be that, uh, not the marketing team, but we're still going to continue with the freelancetech.com. The domain is going to be my uh, ispconfig-tutorials.com. And then the IP, I'm just going to push it to the same one. So this is what I was talking about. The, name server. The name server is what you're going to get from GoDaddy. So let me bring this over here. So, uh, let me put it, I'll put it on this side. What you're going to do is just copy whatever your name server is from your site. Copy this, paste it there, and I already know that it's 20 because that's what it said. So I'm just going to take this off, put 20. You're going to put whatever email is linked. So let's say uh, webmaster at, uh, and I'll copy this. 
Okay, and then once you create it, uh, you're practically done. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is, you know what? We're gonna do everything from Chrome. So let me maximize this. And I'm open a new tab, and now what you, what you wanna do is grab your IP address. So from Google, it's probably the easiest uh, spot. If you type in my IP, you don't even have to put the word address. It'll give you your IP address. So just copy this, copy this, and then all you're gonna do, excuse me, once once you get your IP address, then you have to go back to GoDaddy. So GoDaddy.com. Okay, so once you're on your uh, DNS for your website, what I'm gonna do here is let me zoom in. Lock it. Click on the little pencil, and you're gonna put your IP address, which is there, and save it. Remember, this is talking about seconds, so 600 is the equivalent of 10 minutes. Um, 10 minutes is is good because it just keeps on refreshing it. So now. If you notice FTP, the website, WW, they're gonna be linked to this at, and at is linked to this address here. So now we have our our name from GoDaddy pointing all the way through, through our ISP. From our ISP, we have everything running around or set up so it, it loops around to where it needs to. Now our website will work. If we actually go to our uh, the IP address, excuse me, the, the name, um, we will get this particular IP address and uh, we'll actually see it work on my phone. So let me get, put my phone over here. So here's my phone, okay? And if we notice when I open the internet, Okay, here's our ISP config dash tutorial. Let me refresh that, and here's the website. So remember, on uh, our previous videos, we actually set up our default page to be something different, and here it is working again. Um, you know, basically, remember, we were changing this to be complete. So let's say if, uh, let's use Chrome. So let me, let me open Chrome. Uh, where's Chrome? Here's Chrome. So here's Chrome, and we are gonna go to ISP config dash to tutorial dot com, and there's the website. So you could actually see that it doesn't matter which browser I use either one works. Um, that's just to show that once you have your DNSs up and running how they're supposed to, everything's active. Um, so again, all that good jazz, subscribe, thumbs up, and yeah, I'll see you on the next one. Thanks a lot.